kick, and Hennigan gets out of the way of most of that. Alexio moving in. Hennigan is tough. You've got to give him that. And Hennigan's not kicking at all in this round. He's, I don't think he's thrown but one kick. He's just trying to hang on. He's not even caring if, he's, if he scores kicks or not. All he wants to do is high kick the to round. the head by Alexio that wobbles Hennigan again, and Hennigan has to weather 35 more seconds in this round five of a schedule 12. And things have taken a turn for the worse for Daryl Hennigan. Alexio all over, and that kick was blocked. The crowd is on its feet going wild. That kick was not blocked, and Hennigan is hurt again. Well, Hennigan's showing tremendous courage, staying on his feet. He's absorbed a tremendous amount of punishment in these last two rounds. Hennigan is not answering. And that is a big left hit by Alexio over the right hand, over the top. And now Jim Butan steps in and said, that is it. This fight is over, and Dennis Alexio is the undisputed heavyweight kickboxing champion of the world. Dennis Alexio has stopped Daryl Hennigan in the fifth round here in Caesars Palace in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. You know, it was a good call then by Jim Butan to step in. When a man as big and as strong as Dennis Alexio is able to just stand back and throw everything as hard as he can, that's when things can happen. He did a good job to step in and protect that fighter. Uh, Alexio showing again why he's the champion. He's so strong, so powerful. He got hit some shots early in this fight. He shook him off. Daryl Hennigan showed that he had everything it took to be a contender, a top, top contender. Too much strength, too much firepower from Dennis Alexio. Absolutely, John. No question about it there. As uh, once again, we'll take a look at right there, that right hand over there. There's the left hook that stopped it. I think that probably started Jim Butan. That right hand in there hurt. And Jim Butan, you can see him now looking to get in there. More angles of this. The high kick was blocked, but nevertheless, there was power on it. That kick was not blocked. And again, Alexio right now being able to do anything he wants to do. Jim Butan watching this very carefully. Now to another angle of this. You see that glancing shot at the top of the head. And Hennigan, at that point, a very tired and a very dazed fighter. As you can see now in the ring, we are about ready to get the official time. Hennigan on his stool in the corner. They're taking off his gloves. Dennis Alexio, you have to wonder now, as we heard from him earlier before this fight, saying that, hey, I haven't really been pushed. Hopefully, Daryl Hennigan will bring it out of him. Well, you would have to think that Daryl Hennigan has done that. Dennis Alexio had to fight, and there is no question about that. Alexio looks like he has spent some energy. Daryl Hennigan just got caught with a couple of them late in that round. Jim Butan, the referee, and John and I agree wisely stepping in to stop that fight at that point in time before there was any damage done. Safety is the one thing you have to consider at all times here. Let's go up now to our ring announcer to get the official time, and uh, Les Kynette has just stepped away from the center of the ring. There you see Dennis Alexio, and now we are Almost ready. Les Kynette now is getting something from the commission. And Kynette, our ring announcer, back to the center of the ring. Let's go up there and get the final time. All right, we are set. Our main event this evening abruptly ends at 1 minute and 54 seconds of the fifth round. Referee stops the bout. Winner by TKO and the world kick heavyweight champion of the world, Dennis the Menace Alexio. Dennis Alexio. It was a tough fight. That's a pretty tough fight. You know, this is the first one I've seen that uh, you looked like that you had some trouble there when he came out early and stung you with the right hand. Did he hurt you with that? No, he, I mean, he hit me pretty good with it, but I had a little lackadaisical and didn't come out and check, and he caught me with a pretty good, you know, right hand, but, you know, he saw the end result. Did you, uh, did this thing go like you expected? Yeah. I knew he was going to, he held on to me the whole fight, you know. The rules of the sport you can't hold, but, uh, I guess he slightly broke the rules, but he held on to me quite a bit. But I knew he couldn't handle my strength and my power, especially on the inside. I wore him down and, uh, and took him out. Were you surprised that he moved as much as he did? And I mean, he didn't move as much as he didn't move. I wasn't surprised at all. Uh, no, not at all. Uh, he's, not, he's not really a mover. So I was not surprised. We're going to show some of the, the last action here. I want you to look down at the monitor. Tell us kind of what was happening for you. Okay. Uh, 
He's spinning with a nice heel kick. Nice fight. Uh, he's like he's working your body pretty strong. Uh, not strong enough. I, I don't. I mean, he wasn't taking much of an effect. He doesn't use the left hand much on the inside either. He held me off. He held me a lot. At what point in the fight did you think you had the, you had the fight won? When the referee stopped it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I knew I was wearing him down. And he was he was taking some shots and if he wasn't going. If he wouldn't have stopped it, then he was gone the next round for sure. Let's take again a look at the replay again down here. Okay. Overhand, little wide hook there. This is at the end of the fight. Oh yeah. Body kick kind of hurt him. You know, it's kind of questionable myself, but I'll take it. Questionable in how? In, in what way questionable? Well, I like to put him out cold, so it's a question in my mind. In other words, you didn't you didn't want the fight to stop at this point. No, 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 no. Uh, uh. No, heck no. There's a spinning back fist. You know, it looked like it hit on his shoulder before it hit on the head, but it still knocked him down. Yeah, it, it caught him, so I'll take the knockdown. What about Stan Longinatus? What about him? The guy's fought nobody. Um, I'm not worried about him at all. I mean, maybe in a couple of years he may be ready to step in the ring, but, you know, he's uh, he hasn't fought anybody that's even comp competent. So We've heard a lot about him. We've well, you're mentioning a name that really doesn't deserve to be mentioned with my name or any top contenders until he earns a shot. Who does? Who out there? Whoever. Hey, come one, come all. You know, I'm. Uh, this is my fourth title defense this year, and you know, I'll fight anybody. I'm a fighting champion. I respect everybody that gets in the ring, and let's go. I'm, you know, I'm game. One what last thing here. One? one last thing here. You know, there's a lot of controversy over this fight regarding whether or not to have leg kicks, to have leg kicks. How, how do you feel about that whole thing? I was, uh, I was not very happy at all because uh, I've been fighting with leg kicks, and I'm the champion, and you know, the rules are supposed to be agreed on mutually, and they sent him a contract, said no leg kicks. I, I didn't sign a contract till today. I mean, and that's wrong. I'm champion. You know, I should be able to have some say-so in this. And uh, I like fighting with leg kicks because I'll fight anybody anyway. And leg kicks are uh, are a part of the fighting that a lot of international fighters demand on fighting. And uh, it may take a little bit of the finesse away, but this is kickboxing. You use your legs and to the whole body. So I would have rather had leg kicks. It wouldn't have went this long for sure. Well, Dennis, once again, I want to congratulate you on a great victory. This is a... Uh Sit your record up there and among the elite in the sport and whoever that's going to be if it's going to be Stan Longinatus or who it's going to be knows they'll have their hands full Dan when they step in with this man.